Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going somewhere I have not been for absolutely ages. We're going to Home Bargains guys. We're going to go and see what is new in Home Bargains. Shop with me. We're going to see probably lots of spring stuff. It's currently Valentine's Day, hence the red lippy and my trusty Asta jumper, which is about three or four years old, that always just comes out on this day of love. Sue and I don't really do loads for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's actually our house anniversary on Saturday this week, which is crazy. We've lived here for two years. I don't know how that's happened. But yeah, today we're gonna go over to Home Bargains and see what's new for spring. Hopefully they will have got rid of all their Valentine's Day stuff now and it'll all be spring I guess some Mother's Day I want to see what cleaning products are new I need to give the house a good clean so get some bits for that and just generally like have a little look around home bargains it's been a while not done it for ages hope you enjoy the video grab something com grab a cuppa and something cozy to sit under and let's go shopping Future Lara, coming at you in the present tense. Don't forget to keep on watching to the end because I'm gonna be sharing a haul of everything I get from Home Bargains today. In there, they have licensed music, so I may need to do a voiceover, otherwise YouTube will not like this video. But we're here, and I just thought on the way over, should I do maybe a, a B&M video like this? I haven't done that. I don't think I've done that on this channel. But yeah, let me know if you want to see what's new in B&M whichever shops um but i was also thinking as i was driving here how exciting that soon enough it will be all of like the spring bulbs i mean it already sort of is but like i'll be driving to home base to get my spring bulbs to do some gardening and i'm just excited about that i think that's a really lovely thing to look forward to that sort of summer is on its way spring awakening the garden we're going to work on this weekend actually because it does need a lot of work after the winter you know it just gets a bit like dead leaves everywhere it just needs to spruce up so i'm gonna do that this weekend but yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what's in there i've got my bags also can i just ask you one thing before we get into this home bargains haul and shop with me so you know like there's this whole thing where people wear dry robes now like that's a that's a thing right i keep seeing it on the school run on like beach walks not even like in the sea they've not been in the sea they just wear a dry robe so that's a new thing but there's this other thing and i've seen it three times this week where and it's only tuesday no wednesday and basically where people wear their hoodies out and i mean it's it's a snuggly garment don't get me wrong i love my hoodie but would i wear it outside in the rain it's not a waterproof garment <laughs> it's gonna get very wet and sodden and then cold I don't really know what the kind of like thinking is behind this, but it seems to be a new thing. I even just literally drove past someone wearing a hoodie and pajama bottoms. Now that's a stretch <laughs> in public. Like, what? You don't want to be wearing your comfies outside because then you get home and they're wet and cold and muddy and then you don't have comfies. They're un uncomfies. Anyway. That's just my little musing for my trip over. Let me know in the comments if you found the same. Maybe you do it. Tell me why, What? like what's the goss? What do we, why are we doing this now? Do I need to start doing it? I don't even own a dry robe, but apparently they're very comfortable, very warm, uh, but also so is my coat. So yeah, but anyway, let's go to Home Bargains. Separators. That'd be good if you're on a fat and you put it on your like, balcony, obviously. Soil. This guy always gets me. Always gets me. Mum stuff first. I would imagine all the Valentine's Day stuff's gone, hopefully, anyway. And we're just left with all the mum stuff. And mother's so we've got a bit of a teaser with all the Mother's Day stuff here at the beginning of the store, just as you walk in, but then back to, I guess, just their normal stuff, maybe their best buys at the moment. And then I can't believe how much winter stuff they have in it's literally all winter in the first aisle proper hats and gloves and scarves for home bargains who are usually about 10 seasons ahead surprised to see that that it wasn't full of easter stuff anyway udi looks amazing and they are loads of sort of like comfy things here pajamas a few little nods to valentine's day perhaps mother's day bits and bobs for like maybe presents you could get ah oh, here they are the Easter eggs. 
the Easter Egg Isle. I'm just really surprised not on that first initial seasonal aisle. Mini eggs, ooh, £1.35 here, the £1.15 Sainsbury's. Oh, I've been seeing this one everywhere. Okay, let me know in the comments if you've tried this because I think it looks amazing. But it's 9 99 I feel like that is a lot of dollar for basically, what's in it? I've always got a bag of minis, but mm, that feels like a lot. Anyway, here we are. So there's much more Easter stuff here. Anyone remember this? I, I literally agonised over buying this ages ago. It's now our swear jar. Uh, some bits and bobs, some nice little Easter plates, maybe a little gift for children, Easter egg plate, or not Easter egg, boiled egg, I should say, and soldiers. Uh, this little cute thing for outside, I thought, I don't know if that's a step too far. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot to be doing for Easter. Little Easter candles, I thought they were quite cute. And I'm just going to go through and just show you some of the bits here because there was actually quite a lot of stuff. I thought this was going to be a doorstop, but it wasn't. It's just like something you put on the side, I think. Hmm. Uh, Easter's probably one of the ones I love to decorate for, but I don't go overly overboard. I like to decorate outside, I like to decorate the dining room table, but it's not really something I'd sort of like put across little sideboards and things like that around the house. But I thought I'd just show you these here for anyone that is looking to decorate. And then onto some Mother's Day bits. Looks like they've got some artificial flowers here. I wanted to show you up close, see if they looked quite realistic for the money. I didn't think that eucalyptus looked very good. Uh, and then just one more shot of all the Easter crafting bits. And then more Easter eggs. Not the traditional chocolate stuff though. Some more like sweets and Haribo bits like that. And yeah, just, just showing you the Easter crafting stuff. I think it's quite good for children. I always buy George some bits from here to keep them entertained. These were super, super soft. I'll just sort of quickly go through some of the boys' clothing here and then show you over here, which is just like their normal products that they have in. I'm going to skip through this because I don't know if you guys want to see their beauty stuff, perhaps, but maybe just more like the seasonal stuff. I'm loving they've got all this garden stuff in store at the moment. I'm really ready to get back out into the garden. I was looking at these, just wondering if they were cute or not. I'm not sure though. Um, they've got some like quite sweet garden ornaments. These ones down the bottom, and then I just thought I'd show you up close. This guy, he's a planter. So you put a plant pot on him, I think. I couldn't really work that out. What's going on there? But twelve ninety nine, and then just some more gardeny bits to decorate. Now that we're getting nice and spring-like outside. And here's me, smiling away. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't talk in there because I've got music going and I will get a copyright claim from Instagram. Instagram? From YouTube. I was really, really close, really close to buying these. In fact, I actually put them in my basket. And then I thought, hmm, I've got quite a few pots at home. Where am I going to put them? And they didn't have any holes in them for the drainage. Anyway, back to the Easter decor, because actually I thought it was pretty cute and I think I should show you a little bit more about it. So these were obviously to sort of stick into the ground, I guess, but I thought they were quite sweet. If you're doing maybe an Easter egg hunt for children, 199, stick this in the grass. It looks pretty cute. And then onto like some internal, internal, inside, in, in, indoor, <laughs> we'll get there in the, in the end, indoor decor. Uh, this was cute, but I thought it would look better if you actually could use it as a planter and actually plant your own little plants in it. Uh, and then this, I wasn't quite sure about the vibe of this one, 249 I guess you could put some along the shelf. But this I thought was quite sweet, although they did look super fake, but, you know, it's, it's fake flowers, you're not going to get the best quality, I guess, at home bargains. And then I wanted to give these a touch because they're modal and it's my favourite favorite material and then back to the beginning just because I kind of like was in shock about the fact that it was all winter stuff I didn't really show you it very much but here we are if we want to have some nice cozy comfies then I thought I'd show you these this blanket which was quite expensive at 29.99 but you know if you're trying to stay warm at winter maybe you'd be interested in seeing those some heaters some oil filled radiators and just some like out indoor uh, products just to keep you warm. And then I thought I'd just do a quick whiz round to show you some other bits. Holiday stuff is always in store, which I think is good because obviously you may want to need sun cream out of date, of sort of, not out of date, what am I talking about? Out of season. Does that make sense? Also, this Kill Rock, I've had this brand, but I have not ever tried it. So I'm going to try it and I will report back to tell you how I found it. 
cleaning products og place for cleaning products always get them in here and a bit of zoflo because i've run out and i keep going to get it out of the cupboard and it is not there my friend so i went with the mandarin and lime scent always on offer in here and b m actually they do good offers in there on cleaning products and yeah i will be disinfecting my sinks this weekend to celebrate <laughs> and then finally just some gifting for children this boba tea i don't know why they call it boba tea because it's actually called bubble tea tell me why is it why is it so because my kids always call it bubble tea they had it for the first time this week and they are obsessed so i thought i'd show you these just as some little gift ideas some bath bombs vanity set and some drinking bottles as well on to candles which i absolutely love this section of home bargains they always have really good deals in here bargains if you will they always seem to have really good discounted candles so always a good place to have a look good for gifting and just good for a candle addict like me save 10 pounds save 10 pounds on this one which is one of the ones which crackles which i personally love and they smell really good as well was definitely surprised to see Halloween things in here, or autumnal things, I should say. Uh, but yeah, they also had really good deals on their votives and their candle wax melts as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a deal, again, save £12 on this bad boy. This is a Yankee one as well, but for outside, which is why I didn't pick it up, because I don't need any more outside ones. Uh, but yeah, head over here if you'd like to find some good deals on candles. And then I just thought I'd show you some of the other deals that I could see here. Save £4 on this purifier. Then on to mugs. I do love myself a mug. But there was nothing that caught my eye here. I just love a, a mug. <laughs> uh, and these I thought were cool though. I really love the style of them. And this one was cute for Mother's Day I thought. And then they had it in silver as well. And these were for gin. I also thought I'd show you these ones which are... I thought were good for gifting kids because rather than buying them toys get them something that they might actually use a bit different something a little bit different so I thought I'd also show you the utensils here and the frother so this is like my whizzer I call it a whizzer and it's 2 99 in here so I thought I'd share that with you and then this caught my eye as well I think this is the Jeff Banks range is it Jeff Banks oh no someone else can't say the name uh but yeah 19.99 for a duvet cover set which I thought was quite nice. And then some vases. These really caught my eye. I actually own that one on the top. But this one, this with tulips in, would look so cool. I've seen it on Instagram on people's feed. And I did not know that you could get an affordable option from Home Bargains for £5.99. So I actually have regret not picking that one up. This one I thought was quite sweet as well. Nice coloured and nice pattern. But yeah, just some really nice vases along here. I have that one next to it in a smaller size as well for tulips first of the season managed to sustain restrain myself here but i thought it was giving i really enjoyed that little vase section and then look at this cute little dinosaur bedroom section wishing that my baby was a baby still and not just football mad and into ugly football stuff and wearing football kits all the time this is so cute and then even sweeter was this nursery style i thought it was really really gorgeous if you had a child that was this age and let you design things like this for them to be cute <laughs> before they get their own tastes and style but yeah i thought i'd show you some photo frames and some of the duvet covers this was uh what do we call not applique mm, textured i can't think of the word and then this i could smell before i could actually see it eucalyptus stems but also, 3 99 I thought was, um, I couldn't decide actually, but the lavender smelt really, really strong as well. So I thought I'd show you those if anyone's looking to spruce up their internal home. <laughs> Not that your home's external, oh my god, what am I talking about? And then a wide shot for you guys to see where everything is. And then a little bit more of the range. This is the McQueen. No, definitely not McQueen. What is his name now? I can't see it on the thing. Um, but you know what I mean. It's the same bloody person. It's not the one I was thinking of earlier either. I'm losing it, guys. Right, on to some greenery and some bits and bobs for the house. And also the bar cart, which I wanted last time and I restrained because I've got nowhere to put it. But this caught my eye. 3 99 I had to dig around inside because I was not sure what it was or what it did. It's like a sunset projector. You can project onto the wall very very cool and then this lamp i thought was much more expensive than it was in here and i really like the style of that and then onto my birdies i was looking for a window bird feeder because i thought that would be quite cool 
but they didn't have any so that's the end of that story and then on to some more bits and bobs for the home let's go through this section because all i want to do really is get to the bird section to get my feed for the birds because if you saw my vlog the other day you'll know that Stuart, bless his heart bless his heart did get me some bird seed but it was the wrong bird seed so it wouldn't fit into the bird feeder and sorry that's the kids neighbors the kids around um onto this sorry the water bottle sorry you can now put your phone in it that's genius perfect for if you went to the gym or running or something i thought that was really really cool but yeah back to my bird feed bless him he bought me the wrong ones it didn't fit in so i had to stock up uh and then i was looking at this water bottle because mine's broken and i haven't been drinking my water without it Ooh, it is wet out there right i've finished i'm going to go home and then we'll do a little home bargains haul shall we <sighs> okay i'm back from home bargains absolutely parched because I did not take a bottle of water with me and by the way my water bottle has broken so I'm without water and you know I love my two litre bottle that I have too many times a day uh and I haven't been drinking enough water sorry if this is really shiny it's like making my skin all shiny but it's now very dark I it's six o'clock I ended up going to Waitrose afterwards to get their meal deal purely because I kept seeing adverts of it on Instagram, friends of mine that were working with them, and it just looked so delicious. And also, you got a really, really good bottle of wine with it. So the wine was like 15 99 which I obviously doubt it's probably not that price, but the meal dough itself was only 20 quid. So main, starter, dessert, not in that order, side, and a bottle of 15 99 wine for 20 pounds. I thought it was a bit of a no-brainer, so I went and got that. So we might do that Saturday night if, we ever get an evening to ourselves because if you ever have children and tweens especially you know that they like to go to bed late you don't really get much of an evening i suspect the projector will be coming out as a little treat to them also to us right let's get on with this home bargains haul shall we hope the lighting is not too distracting because it's very dark outside so although it's getting earlier the light getting later the light right first of all some food some bread i got some bread that's very basic these hot dog rolls, if you know me, you know I love the uh, something bottom muffin top rolls or something they do in there. This is the same brand. So this is just for hot dog movie night dinner for the kiddies. Uh, I've got some tissues because I love, you know when you go to a hotel and there's a, there's like a tissue in the bathroom and like you can do your makeup and then you're like blah, blah, blah. And I, I just love it. So I thought I'm gonna get myself some so I can pretend like I'm in a hotel. I bought some bits for the birds. This is going to be all over the place because it's all in different bags. I got this for the birds. I've not had one like this before, a little acorn. And I just thought it looks a bit sturdier than some of the others that I've got. And to go in it, I'm going to go with fat balls. So I'm going to put the fat balls in there. And then hopefully that'll be nice for them. I got the children some vitamins. These are always really good to buy in there. Although I should have got two because there's only one month supply for one child in there. That's fine. I can go back. George really loves these snacker jacks, so I've got him some of those, also for me. Also, I had to crack into these ones because I was so hungry. I had some amazing pancakes earlier. I'll put a little thing on the screen to show you. Oh my gosh, chef's kiss good. They were so, so delicious. But that was at like when I broke my fast this morning, half 11, it's now six. So they really filled me up. They're full of protein and good bits and bobs, but I just have opened up some of those. I got some mealworms as well for the robins and the birds. I got these little flower seeds. I don't know how successful they're gonna be because I don't know, but you can uh, plant them between Ju January and June. So I'm just gonna put them out in my containers and hope for the best, basically. A little bit of color for spring or summer. Uh, I went with this, I've never tried Fry Light before. Let me know if you've had it, if you think it's good. Uh, it's the olive oil one. So I know they're doing a sunflower oil, but I thought I'd try it, see how we get on. By the way, sorry if my makeup is really like, gone from my face uh got some of these because when we went out foraging for my christmas wreath display i didn't couldn't find my secateurs they called secateurs pruner a pruner uh so yeah i bought a new pair to be honest with you they're probably right at the back of the shed covered in spiders or oh, there was a wasp nest last year so i don't i'm sorry i'm not going in there um fruit sack i thought i'd try the children on these let me know in the comments what snacks you give your children if you have them or if you had them that are not high in sugar i know obviously dried fruit is going to be high in sugar but i'm trying to find things to give them at, because they get really hungry it's sort of like six seven o'clock and i say you can't have any sugar now you'll be up all night and george is really struggling with his sleep um so yeah let me know what you use 
got a fruit cocktail just to have in the cupboard. Like if we've run out of fruit one day, I know I've got something in there and Henry loves that. Bleach, always buy bleach when I go to Home Bargains, always buy my cleaning products. Oh, I went for peanuts because if you saw my book, home vlog the other day, you'll see Stu bless him. He got me some nuts for the birds and it wasn't one that I could use because they they need to be the biggest size for the feeder that I had because they go through the holes otherwise. So I bought a big box pack of that. That was $3.99. Quite a big size actually, I thought, for like $3.99. I'll tell you at the end actually what I spent once I find the receipt. Um, I bought some kitchen roll, just one. It was 89p and that was 90p and the two pack was £1.89 and I was like, hmm. You said potato, I said potato. Might as well just buy one. It's so big to store. Put these for the weekend. Little weekend treat. Delish. Uh, these, always pick these up as well when we go in there. Battery's running out. Okay, I bought this for my newly, if you didn't see, I did a declutter with me kitchen edition, my bite sized decluttering series that I'm doing at the moment just to get on top of those areas that are weighing you down, making you feel bad. And I thought this would be good because you can put this in a cupboard and then sort of like extend the amount of space you've had. And I thought, cause it's, it's actually for a fridge, but you could do it in a cupboard, couldn't you? And I thought we could put the air, air up sachets in cause they're quite thin. And then that will relinquish my pot to put other stuff in. It'd just be a better, I just thought it'd look, it would just take up less space. We'll see. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do. It. I'll show you once it's in situ. Uh, Zoe Flo, of course. I went for margarine and uh, lime uh, because I just love doing the sinks and my toilets and stuff. I know these are not good, but they are good. They're just good if you want to just throw it away, and it's like a really dirty sort of under underneath things. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. I've got those. Uh, and this grout cleaner, I thought I could use in the boys' bathroom because it's getting a little bit like. We have a lot of lime scale where we live and it goes pink. So yeah, I'm gonna clean them out with that. Is that everything? Three bags. Yeah, that's it all. So thank you so much for being here and watching. I hope you enjoyed this Home Bargains Come Shop With Me and Home Bargains Haul. And let me know if you want me to do it for any other stores or any other things like that. And I'll be back really soon. I've got a menopause or perimenopause health update chat coming next for you guys if you're interested in that. And I'll see you so soon. Take care, bye.